Welcome back to 12T Health. I'm Dr. Derek De Silva. This baseball season, Yankee pitcher Bartolo Colon grabbed headlines with his comeback after shoulder and elbow problems. The procedure he underwent actually used his own stem cells to repair the damage. Here now to talk about the use of stem cells to aid in the healing process is Dr. Damon Noto, a regenerative medicine specialist with the Spine and Joint Center in Hasbrook Heights. Great to have you here. Thank you very much oh, for thank joining you. us. I'm glad to be what here. What is regenerative medicine? Regenerative medicine is simply the focusing on the body's ability or enhancing the body's ability to heal itself, to actually regenerate, to actually grow new cells, grow new tissue. It's been around for a long time, but it's actually coming to the forefront now with the advances of modern medicine. We can do new things, new technologies such as stem cells. Right. What are stem cells, by the way? We hear this all the time, and I just want people to understand what they are. Okay, stem cells is a catch term because there's actually different cells in the body that you could call stem cells, but those are the very basic cells that can regenerate into all different types of tissues in the body. They can become nerve tissue, liver tissue, heart cells, so they have the ability to actually cause cells to do things and heal and also to become different types of cells. So, and, and then how do you get these stem cells? How are they isolated? Well, in clinical practice now, we have really two ways to do it. One is taking a little bit of the bone marrow. So we're actually extracting a little bit of bone marrow, spinning it down, and getting stem cells. The other way, which is a new way, is actually taking some of the patient's fat. You're grabbing from the love handles, pulling out some fat, spinning it down, getting stem cells. And that's actually new. We just learned about this in the past few years. So you can get a little liposuction, get your shoulder fixed. You know, you got a whole thing going on here, no, right? Exactly. Exactly. That's and exactly people, what it I, is. Patients ask about that. Can right. you know, give me a little bit of a liposuction here and then use my cells right. to help heal something? So exactly. So once these cells are re-injected into, well, let's go through this. Okay. You, you take out the bone marrow. Correct. You uh, separate the stem cells. Correct. I guess you spin them down. Correct. Uh, what happens after that? Well, once we have the and stem cells. And we've got some video here, if you just comment on this. Yeah, what are we here, at? you know, we're actually breaking up the different layers so we can actually get the stem cell layer. Once we grab the stem cells, then we can actually use it in an injectable format into joints. Mm -hmm. That's the, my specialty, is actually taking it, putting it into a knee joint or a shoulder joint, someone who's had either cartilage loss or damage, and actually that, those cells will go in there and help regenerate it, mm -hmm. and actually bring it back to normal function. Right, so right here what we're doing is, is just grabbing the cells. Correct, here and you're, you're seeing it spinning down, and actually it's separating. The different layers are separating, so we can grab the layer that is stem cells, and that way you can actually hold in on those. So once they're re-injected, and I assume mm -hmm. they're re-injected under ultrasound Correct. or some kind or of... fluoroscopic guidance, x-ray guidance. Right, x-ray guidance. Uh, what do the cells do? Well, actually, we're learning more and more about that. One of the major things they do is called paracrine effects. Basically, they're secreting things to tell your cells to actually heal. So it, one, it can regenerate in tissue, into tissue. Two, it can actually stimulate your own cells to actually grow and heal. So it, we're actually learning more and more about this in the next few years. We're going to know a lot more. So are they used for knee problems, shoulder problems? Be, can you be a little bit more specific as Correct. to what you can do? You, you know, you can use it for people who are told, you know what, you need a hip replacement because you've lost so much cartilage. Or you know what, your meniscus has been injured and now we need to do arthroscopy. So we're injecting into meniscus. People who've had rotator cuff tears, or a very common one is tennis elbow. People have tennis elbow and, and their tendon just won't heal. We're using it for types, those types of things. So this isn't just for athletes, no. as, I, as I mentioned in my introduction. And sure. quite honestly, I've had a handful of patients that have had this uh, this uh, this procedure so done, done and have had been very very successful. That's great. What is your success rate like with this? You know, it really depends. I'm getting great success with moderate osteoarthritis, moderate damage to cartilage. With severe damage, you know, it's sometimes it can be difficult. You know, we don't have the ability in the United States to grab it and then grow it and reinject as you do in other parts around the world. So our ability to treat severe osteoarthritis or severe damage is a little bit limited right now. But in terms of moderate disease, we're doing, we're doing, getting great results. Talk to me about what you just said, because mm -hmm. that really, and I think that's called line extension or, or, or growth of these Correct. cells. What's the difference and why can't we do it in this country? Well, the FDA has taken the stance that if you grow it, it becomes more of a pharmaceutical now. And so there is some risks when you grow stem cells. You know, right now it seems to be very safe, but the FDA has taken the stance we really don't know because maybe it could grow into a tumor or a cancer, God forbid. The studies we see now is that that chances are very low. And I want to reemphasize that we're taking cells from the patient's own body. Right. This, this is isn't from a baby or an embryo. Right, no, right, right. I'm glad you said different. that. This 
This is talking about from your own body, we're grabbing it from your own bone marrow, and we're taking it, we re injecting it. The FDA doesn't want at this point us to take it, grow it for a few weeks, and then re inject. But that would be very powerful. Now you're taking the stem cells from maybe a million to mm -hmm. 10 million, right. 20 million. That's what they're doing in other countries, and they're having great success with it. I thank you very much for joining us. Oh, I love this pleasure. stuff, by the way. I love this stuff, it's and I thank exciting. you. It's exciting. People it need is. to learn about it and yeah. stay on top of it. It really is exciting. Thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you. Great to have you here. Stay with us when we come.